Hi guys, welcome back to Brian's Society. I'm Rebecca and this is Laura and today we are talking hen parties in London. So if you kind of starting to plan or you just sort of think about where you might want to go for your hen party then as I say we've checked out London and come up with uh, some of our favourite ideas. So there's a lot of food based <laughs> ones in here. Um, so hopefully you like them and so we're going to start with some of like the more like attraction. Yes. So typically London. Um, mm -hmm. This is a non-food idea, but if you're if you've got a probably a bigger budget for this one, um, and you want to do kind of a quintessential London thing, then the London Eye. But not just doing the London Eye in any old way. Oh, yeah. You can actually hire a capsule, one of the whole pods. And um, so there are different packages depending on how many people. Um, you've got and uh, so it's worth checking out the different options you can add on champagne as you're going around but it just means you've got the whole capsule to yourself and mm. um, so you haven't got to share it with lots of other um like strangers really you can really enjoy um How being great to go around 30 45 minutes i think around. something like that yeah. yeah so it's a decent amount of time just to kind of see the views all over london take pictures yeah yeah Though, you probably should check with the people you're inviting how they feel about heights before yes. you book it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One thing to consider. <laughs> Just the thought. And then another idea we like, which starts to introduce food yeah. to this video, um, is that you go to Hyde Park, where there's a really nice like, water area and obviously greenery areas, and have a picnic. So you put together your own hamper and like all different snacks to share, and people can like, contribute and uh, you know I think that'd be really good for photographs too. It would. Um, and and also make, sorry no go no, on. I was gonna say we're kind of assuming you'll be doing these maybe when the weather's a bit nicer so not hopefully pouring down with rain or too cold. Um, I mean appreciate it's the UK that can yeah. never be guaranteed but and <laughs> <laughs> um, also while you're at Hyde Park you could hire a boat and yeah. like that could be go fun. out paddling yeah. around yes but don't be too drunk by that point. Okay, moving on to food proper now, the good stuff. Get serious. Um, so, I mean, all hen parties need cake or maybe afternoon cake. tea. Um, so there are cafes like L&N or maybe Sketch, which are kind of these really Instagrammable places they to be. Look cool. um, or another really kind of specific London attraction. You can actually have afternoon tea on a double-decker red bus. Um, so you kind of going around all the sites while having afternoon tea. Mm -hmm. I think that's a pretty cool idea. Yeah, that's a cool idea. Yeah, and that way as well, if, even if the weather's not great. Yes, that's a well. cover at least. Yeah, no, I think that's good. Um, and then you could also like organise a treasure hunt, scavenger hunt thing. So I guess like it sort of follows on a bit from the sort of bus tour of the main <laughs> sites, but so that might be things like you put together like a list of like where you need to have photos taken so they might be from the landmarks you just just like a in, with a beef eater or something <laughs> like you know it's just like brainstorm those kind of things to make it kind of like interactive like throughout the day that you could just sort of run alongside the rest of your activities. Especially right? I guess if you don't know London that well and still want to be a bit of a tourist in the city yeah. um, so it's kind of you're actually seeing London as well as celebrating the bride-to-be. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah making the most of your time yeah. kind of thing yeah. so it's not just drinking which you kind of just do in any city yeah kind of thing so appreciating where you are at the same time <laughs> um, and something that london has lots of and is famous for are the west end shows mm -hmm. uh, so whether like musicals yeah. or just theatre um again maybe a bit more of a kind of higher budget option or you could go to one of the booths if you're not sure if you what you want to watch and there aren't too many of you you might be able to go and get some last minute discounted tickets mm -hmm. and depending um, how many of you are sometimes get like group booking yeah well, that's true and um, so maybe think of what the bride might uh, kind of what genre she might like to go and see um, and you can arrange to go and kind of pick out one of the many shows um, while you while you're there and then you can move on <laughs> to the sort of maybe more drinking end of it maybe check out some of the, like the rooftop bars in London um, 
so there's some quite cute ones around and have your cocktails up there again hopefully if it's not raining because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> then I won't all be covered um, but yeah that would be really really nice with the skyline yeah, and the background yeah so London that would be, be really cool and then finish off your night with some frozen yoghurt um, at Snog um, they've yes. got a they've got shops I think but they've also yeah. got a double decker bus on embankment yeah. Uh, so yeah. you can go and get a late night snack of some frozen yoghurt yeah <laughs> I think that's probably like in between bars maybe yes yeah. it's only till 11pm so you can just like yeah go get your frozen yoghurt between <laughs> I think that's pretty good I do that that for me <laughs> is a good day <laughs> Yeah, so we hope you've enjoyed these ideas for a weekend or kind of day in London as part of a hen do. Um, if you've got any other suggestions of typically London things that people might enjoy, please leave it in the comments below. Um, if you like the video, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.